Hey, this is Big Guy DIY Robert. Today is, is going to be a really short, simple video. It's for those who have vinyl windows with uh, um, the weather stripping is a fuzz, both on the screen as well as the base of the vinyl window. So when the two edges of the screen and window come together, it kind of closes it from leaves and other bugs coming between the screen window and the regular glass window. So this is a little short video to show you how to replace this. And I'll give you a little information on where I got the supplies. Here's the screen window. And here's the weather stripping on the screen window. When this weather stripping, this would be the top of the window here and this is the bottom. When it comes down, this weather stripping is supposed to go against a weather stripping here, as you can see, it's missing the <clears throat> backing of the weather stripping. The backing of the weather stripping is still there, but it's worn out. This side of the window or this window faces the sunny side of the house, so it gets weather beaten pretty bad. But when these two are together, like so, there's supposed there is this is supposed to be sealed up, so bugs and leaves don't fall in between the two. So I'm going to show you how to replace this as well as this. The product I got is not a sponsorship. It's just I happened to find this online. And you can order the lengths that you need to do. So I bought two different lengths. What I did is I pulled one of these pieces out. To see what the base is so you can see this is the base it's 3 16 this is a half inch pile and it has a plastic little rain drip built into it the other one I have the base is the same 3 16 but this is a quarter inch it too has the little plastic like rain shield built into it. <clears throat> to get these out, depending on the windows, you need to slide these out. And sometimes they don't have a way to do it. So I'm going to show you how to create an access so you can slide this furry weather stripping out. Just slide in a new one. Now this piece, let's see if I can use it. Nope, too short. All right. So the first thing you need, because this is aluminum, so we're going to need a saw, a hacksaw, as well as a file. So let me grab that. As we look at the corner here, there's no way for this piece to slide out. You can't just pull it out because there is actually a lip here and on the bottom part that helps hold this in. So we're going to cut out a groove so this can slide out to install a new one. That's what the hacksaw is going to be used for. See my cut now right here so I'm going to break this piece of aluminum out now you can see I have an opening to slide this weather strip right out the file I'm going to use to file the edge down here because as you slide the weather stripping in, the sharp edge can cut this weather stripping as it goes in. It's just a regular file, metal file, nothing special about it. It has a file edge here as well as on the opposing side. So let's try to slide this out. 
doesn't work, we will get some needle nose pliers to reach in there. Cutting on an angle like this, I'm cutting on an angle because this is wider than the top. I'm trying to create a spot. I'm trying to create like a T on the end of this. There we go. So now we just pull this out. So you can see how wide the bottom is in relation to the furry furriness here. So by cutting, I'm trying to get it so you can see it better. By cutting it wider on the bottom here, it's allowing that wider part to come out. I'm going to tune it a little better. There. Now you can see how this is wider on the bottom, the cut, versus the top. Next, measure the piece length that you need go right into the corner but not do not cut it where it overhangs so you're really going to go almost corner to corner you're just going to leave a little room Take your piece, see your weathering, weather stripping bottom here, just going to slide it in, and there, that window's done. Now if you want to prevent this from coming out, just take your needle nose pliers and bend this corner right here in. And you don't have to bend it a lot, but just bend it in a little and that'll prevent this from coming out. That's how you prevent it. So that's done. The window. Now this window I noticed if this groove came to the corner as well as this and it was like the screen window I would drill a hole to create that access so it can come out but here you can kind of see there's a hole already drilled there. Same for this side. There's a hole drilled there. So what I have to do on this is there's um, staples in here. There's one here. I don't know why they'd staple it. But we're going to pull the staple out. Using the needle nose again and grabbing that weather strip.
Wow, this one is so rotted. Look at that. Sun damage. So now we have it out. Now, I'm not going to use, because I did a test earlier, I'm not using the quarter inch pile with a quarter inch pile on the screen because when the windows come to close, there was actually a gap between the two. So the uh, half inch pile and the window closes, I mean the screen closes, they touch and that's what I'm looking for. So same thing, except you're going to measure from the edge of the hole to the edge of the hole. If you, if you had to create a hole, then the rule is from the corner to the edge of the hole. You can use wire cutters or scissors to cut this. So you can kind of see where that access is right there. All right. Point this in. Here we go. And there's the new pylon weather stripping. So the nice thing about it is I can replace all these all the way around. I'm actually going to replace this top one with the quarter inch because it's a much shorter pile as you can see from the side compared to this. Since the, uh, since the weather beats up on this thing. did the whole window so this is quarter inch all the way around and this is half inch on the bottom and that's the simplicity of replacing the weather strip so this is big guy DIY Robert hopefully that gives you an idea how to replace these fuzzy weather strippings inside uh, the windows as well as the screen windows uh, any questions just rifle it below uh, if this helped out Give me a thumbs up. 
I will be shooting a staple in this one as well as this one because the window goes up and down this way, which means this weather stripping will want to move uh, at some point trying to get out. So I'm just gonna drive in a small staple with a pneumatic staple gun here. All right, take care everyone.